Okay, so I'm going to get started. Um, the first thing that I want to show you guys, it's a, a request that has been done for a while now, is to how to use uh, a Linux server locally. We talk a lot about the uh, using the cloud and getting the, the server in the cloud in the first place, but some people don't have that option because it is really required to have a, um, a credit card or a way to pay for that server. If you have a virtual box in your system or if you have a, a server lying around, an old computer that you can turn into a server, or if you have a Raspberry Pi, you can turn it, that into a server. I'm just going to do a virtual box one. It's a quite simple. But the first thing is to what is the uh, the image that you're going to use from Ubuntu, okay? So we talk a lot about this as well. And if you're going to put that in your local server, you have to uh, search for the right uh, version of Ubuntu. So we're we're using Ubuntu server. And this is important because server doesn't have all that uh, flourish that we have in desktop. I mean, it's not going to have any um, desktop environment, nothing that is graphical. It's just command line that it's going to see. It's just black screen. So it's going to be a lot uh, simpler and a lot uh, um, lighter because of that. But uh, even being lighter... It's the, the image for the uh, LTS 22.04 from the Ubuntu server. It's even uh, 1.8 gigabit gigabytes. It's, it's, it's quite heavy in itself, but for for now, uh, I already have that downloaded because I don't want to waste your, your guys' time. But what you're going to look at is going to for Ubuntu.com. Check for... Download server, you got downloads and server. You see that we have desktop, IoT, cloud. There's a bunch of options. And Canonical has been doing a lot of that work for many years now. So you want something that you can uh, manually install. So you download the, the ISO for that. And then you have the basic installation for the docs. So you can see that uh, in the documentation, that's the, uh, the important thing that we have to look at, the recommended system requirements. Usually server doesn't require much. It's one CPU, one gig of RAM, and about two and a half gigabytes of uh, storage. When we're going to do on a virtual box, I recommend doing a little just a little bit more. So I I'm, I'm didn't get to that from the start. So you're going to have to install VirtualBox in the first place. Right? So if you don't have VirtualBox, VirtualBox. This is from Oracle. But you can use for free. And I'm running this on a Mac, but it works for uh, Windows and Linux as well. So you have options for everyone. Okay, so I have here my virtual box. I can put it here, just a, a new name. You already get what is the, the version that we're using. That's okay. Here I'm I'm going to use instead of one gig of RAM two gig, so the base memory is, is two gigabytes instead of one one gigabyte, and one CPU is fine. Doesn't require really require more than that. Here on the disk size five is a good number. I know that it it says two point five. It's okay. Just give it a little more and on, on the first try at, at least if you have that available. All right. Uh, the summary, you got to finish. We're not done yet. 
we just uh, give a, a first setup of what is going to be our virtual machine. But we have to go to the settings and I'm going to apply the uh, the disk for the 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 image that we just loaded. Choo -choo -choo. Let me add another one. I just have that Ubuntu live server. Okay, I got a little disk inside. All right, let's put on the network for the bridge adapter. So it uses my local network here inside my lab. And that's okay, and let's start. You see, we uh, try install Ubuntu server. That's what we want to do. Enter here. The, the, the reason that I put it as a bridge adapter is that it's going to use my computer as uh, a way to get to the internet. So the VM has a way to go to the internet through as a bridge. I'm using an adapter. I, I'm being the bridge. My computer is being the bridge for the VM. So if I have to download anything from Ubuntu, it's going to be through me, through the lab that already is connected to the internet, okay? So this is the first screen. I'm going to use English. Anything that I just you know, OK or is going to be Enter. So it, you're not going to use your mouse that much here. It's going to be just the, the keyboard. So Enter for English. If you want to change the, uh, the language, you can use the arrow keys up and down and use the Enter. You see that's going to be green where is kind of selected for you to confirm. So it's an identify keyboard, it's okay for done. And here is the information that we want, is that uh, for the base for the installation, that's Ubuntu server that got a lot of stuff for a server, in my opinion, is a little bit bloated. And the Ubuntu server minimized. So we have just the essentials. This is going to be a quick install because of that. We're not going to put more than what we need. So you can use space to select this. It's going to change the X from Ubuntu server for Ubuntu server minimized. Use the arrow keys and go down to done again and enter. Okay, it got my... Um, my network, my local network, this is a, a, a DHCP for my router, so 192.162 is, is going to be through that because we use the bridge adapter. That's important when you set up the VM. So you can can see where uh, it goes to the internet. Okay, done. Proxy, no, we don't need it here. Mirror address, use the default, done. Uh, use the entire disk, we don't need to to deal with partitioning yet. So scroll down to done. It's going to give you all the information about that partition. Not important now. Done. Are you sure you want to continue? This is going to be destructive, but not that destructive. You're going to see these exact same screens when you do this process in um, in an old computer or installing with a, a live CD or USB. So it it sees like it's a, a whole computer, but here is you, we use in a VM, so it's kind of not really that destructive for us. So scroll down for continue. Here's the part when, okay, I want my user into this the system. So it's great to be Livia. My server name can be Ubuntu. My username can be Livia. I can put whatever password I want. Doesn't matter because I'm local. So it can, could be potato. <laughs> Anything is, is, is not really that important because uh, it's a VM locally. It's not going to have anything. So done. Here, uh, this is one of the things that Canonical always go for how to take your money. So you want to enable Ubuntu Pro? No, I don't. So continue. Uh, install open SSH server. Yes, we want that. Why we want that? Because you can manage your server 
just by um, running the the VM here in the, the way that I'm doing right now. The this is the screen from the the, the virtual box. But really, you want to also learn how to do it with SSH. To that to be possible, the SSH server should be enabled into your server. So enable it. Go to done. A lot of extras that we don't need. Done. And now it's installing. This is supposed to not take much, um, five minutes or so, because we got the minimal. But you're gonna see one of the, the interesting thing when you see uh, installation for the first time, at least, is what is going on uh, under the hood. So you see that is installing the kernel. It's going to be on that for a while. And there's a lot of configuring uh, stuff and install the sources to the disks. Everything that goes on inside Linux is going to be reading somewhere. So you have that information. You, you, you got what is going on. That, that's the, the, the beauty of it. So let's just hope that it doesn't take too long. And then we got something new. It says uh, view full log or cancel update and reboot. You can do the update right now, or you can just go to the reboot and do you do it yourself later. So I'm going to do that. We got it a reboot and it's rebooting. Okay, we got the first reboot. It was uh, a quick install. I've been less than five minutes, I guess. And that is the, the first bootstrap on it. The starting, starting, you see a lot of starting services. And we got the first, okay, yeah, Ubuntu login. You you got to do that on the first time because I don't, don't know the, the IP address yet, but you will use it, Livia, as the, the login and my password that I did that. And voila, we got, here we go local server. So if I want to uh, access this server, my local server in a VM, but using SSH, I have to know what is the IP address for my VM. So it's 192, where is my, is 192.168.3.6. You can see here, you can see on um, I did the IP address, IP AD. It, get, it got me the loopback. That's one two seven zero zero one, and just under that we got the the connection to the Ethernet, my my local VLAN. So it's one nine two one six eight three six. So I can go here. And go to SSH. SSH Livia at 192.168.336. Right? Yeah? No? Ah, my no hosts. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to. Too many tests. <laughs> So I used that uh, IP address before. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Let me take this guy out. Uh huh. Here we go. Get out. Okay. Try it again. Yep. And my password, and I into my new server. So if I want to uh, upgrade, update and upgrade, this is the first thing, apt upgrade, yes. So 
So we got uh, Ubuntu 2204 LTS. It's going to always have something to upgrade. So we're pulling the information from the repos. And what needs to be upgraded is being upgraded. Especially kernel. Kernel updates uh, is the first thing that you have to, to check out because they are the ones that really uh, are important for security. Okay. Uh, which service should be started? None. Okay. So if I get out and I get back in, you can start playing with your server here so it's going to be the same thing so I are going to shut it shut this down okay and I'm going to you see it's shutting yep already shut down and I'm going to to quit visual box for now so far so good Local server, all okay, simple, right?